The name on everybody's lips is gonna be Roxy. Well, it's grossed over 1.5 billion, yeah, that's billion worldwide, and been seen by more than 31 million people. Performed in 12 languages and 35 countries. Multi-award winning Chicago is the number one longest running American musical in Broadway and West End history. It is now set to razzle dazzle New Zealand, and we are lucky enough to have with us in studio Carmen Pretorius, who plays Roxy Hart. Welcome, Carmen. It's lovely to have you here. It's wonderful to be here. I love that you brought notes, so because I'm going to test you on these. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about you in a moment, but I want to find out a little bit more about Chicago. I mean, so it was based on a Broadway play, first performed in 1926. So what do you think it is about the show that has made it so popular, that 1.5 billion it's gross? I mean, worldwide, that's incredible. It is incredible, and I think um, it's the combination of the fact that it's a, based on a true story about two real merry murderesses, um, and also that it deals with themes that are so uh, social political themes that are so relevant today even you know with the hashtag me too movement mm. um, woman feminism murder greed as well as social media and the role that that plays in our society what's the history of the show itself because there have been sort of several incarnations a lot of people the on-ramp may have been the movie but it go certainly goes back further than that doesn't it yeah so in 1924 uh, Balva Gardner and Bula Annan were the two original murderesses and um, upon which the story is based, they committed murders and were acquitted. Um, there was a reporter, who, Maureen Watkins, who then decided to write a comedy about how she had encountered these women in the jail and writing about them in, in the newspapers because it became this like splash of um, excitement around what was happening. Uh, and then that comedy then turned into a silent film in 1928 starring Phyllis Harbour. And then came the Ginger Rogers film version um, called Rock Heart and in 1975 the musical Chicago opened on Broadway and that is the Candor and Ebb Bob Fosse version which then ran for two years and then it reopened in 1996 a reworked version and that's the one that's been running for 22 years on wow. Broadway. If I ever need to have someone who knows about Chicago at a pub quiz <laughs> you are my pick because you know it all it's incredible. Thank you I do have notes but I've memorized a lot. You have you didn't even look down I'm very <laughs> impressed. Uh, there's been a whole a lot of big stars attached with Chicago over the years too, hasn't there? Yes, so many. Um, my absolute idol, I think, is Anne Reinkin, who played Roxy Hart. Uh, then you've got people like Brooke Shields, you've got uh, um, Cuba Gooding Jr., you've had Melanie Griffith playing Roxy Hart, um, uh, Bruce Willis's daughter, Rumor, Rumor Willis played Roxy Hart recently, and Brandy, Brandy played Roxy Hart. Oh. So. Um, I have big shoes to fill. You've talked a bit about, obviously, uh, you know, murder, but what is the gist of the storyline? The story is about, it centres about around Roxy Hart, which is the character that I play. Um, she is a, quite an innocent, I would say, that finds herself in a precarious position because she spontaneously committed a murder. <laughs> um, accidentally. Um, and finds herself in Cook County Jail and the story then revolves around her journey through getting to the jail and um, concocting her story with Mr. Billy Flynn, who is her lawyer, um, as to how to get herself off of death row. She's on death row. But her biggest desire is to be a star. So it, all those worlds come crashing together. Um, what's more important, getting off or being a star, being famous, or actually not um, being on death row, it's all uh, moulds into one. It's a very interesting story about her. Such great music as well. Of course there was the movie um, Chicago as well, which a lot of people would have seen. Renee Zellweger, what did you reckon about her role in it? I love her interpretation. Uh, I actually haven't watched the movie since I thought of rehearsals because I didn't want to be too bogged down in, in, in because I'm an, I'm an actress, I imitate mm. what I see. So you didn't so want to be I, Carmen playing, Renee no, playing? Yeah, right, got no. it. I, I wanted to go through the rehearsal process with our creatives um, within my own being and not being influenced by that because I had, that was why I loved the show. I fell in love with the movie when I was 12 years old when it came out. Mm. Um, so, but I've been looking at snippets now and then um, of Renee's performance and she's so in the moment um, endearing sort of naive but yet she's got that steely um, murderous quality which is why Roxy is such an exciting character. What do you think your version of Roxy is? What do you bring? 
I've been told I bring a very um, believable, I suppose, innocence to her. Um, I'm quite a young Roxy, uh, so I think it's important that I can sort of hold, hold ground as someone who can commit a murder and get away with that. Um, but also the fascination of Roxy is how she is not calculating, she's not um, predetermined, she's very in the moment, she's spontaneous. Um, and I think I, I bring that out in mm. her. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your background. How did you get into musical theatre? I always wanted to be a pop star actually um, and I started singing and dancing and acting when I was young um, and in my teens I travelled to Singapore and Japan and I sang there but I actually got into musical theatre because um, I won a television show called High School Musical Live on Stage. Oh, oh wow. Um, it was sort of like How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria that mm -hmm. was on BBC. Um, I, I don't know if I can say that. You just did, it's okay. Yeah, it's totally fine. <laughs> Question, um, th th I might be throwing you off a little bit here. I believe that everyone has their hairbrush artist that was the person in the mirror as a kid because you said you wanted yes. to be a pop star. Who was that for you? Mine was Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera. Same. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Well, it might Actually, have been. Probably, probably was. <laughs> oh, that's quite exciting. So how did you get from winning that competition to starring in Chicago? So that was about 10 years ago. I won the competition, um, won the lead role, and then obviously through that um, secured an agent. And then I went on to play um, Ariel in Footloose. I then played Sophie in Mamma Mia. I toured with Jersey Boys. I toured with The Sound of Music, where I played both Liesl and Maria. And that was the last time I was in New Zealand. I played Liesl here in Wellington and Auckland. And now I find myself in my absolute dream role, which is, um, for me, the mecca of my, my showbiz career mm. so far. You must be on the road so much. Where is home? Do you do you still, you know, South Africa home? Yes, yeah. home is in Johannesburg. Um, I live with my sister and we live in our childhood home actually still. Um, so it's quite wonderful. We have a big garden and I've got pets. Um, but it's lucky because I can kind of lock up and go. And rely on your yeah. sister to look after things. Yeah. So what's next for you? What else do you want to try and achieve? I think my next goal is to definitely, um, I would love to play the role of Ava Peron in Evita. Oh, That's my other big sort of oh, favourite favorite, fa yeah. favorite role. But to be honest, this is the first, we're opening the show here. Um, so we've just come out of rehearsals and for me, this is my absolute 100% focus. I don't think I can actually see past Chicago at the mm. moment. Um, so I just want to make the most of this journey. We have a long tour ahead of us. So I Where think are you we, heading? So we're heading to, after this obviously, to Wellington and then we go to China for four months. So we do wow. Beijing, Shanghai and lots of other cities. We then go back home to Joburg and Cape Town and we finish off a tour in Germany. We are in Germany for two months so we do all the major cities. So this is where we are focused now and you know, looking after our bodies, our voices, our minds. Yeah. It's a very fast paced show so we have to be very focused. I'm going to ask you that question that is so hard to answer, but favourite song, be it yours or someone else's? I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> uh, my favourite song from the musical, I think, is definitely um, We Both Reached for the Gun, because yeah. it's such a fun scene. Um, the whole cast is on stage, and it's just so beautifully choreographed and staged. Um, I also love Nowadays, which mm. is a classic Kandra Neb ballad yeah. and it just tells the story so beautifully. Oh fantastic, hey we're looking forward to seeing it. Carmen thank, thank you. you so much. The award winning Broadway and West End musical Chicago opens at the Civic in Auckland on Saturday and it runs until the 9th of September before moving to the Opera House in Wellington from September the 13th. You can check out the Chicago website or Ticketmaster for ticket details. And we cannot wait to see it. Do head along if you can. This is a world class production, I can promise you that.